Well, welcome back to the governor's office at the Indiana State House and uh, efforts to drive clean energy investment in Indiana. Could the state of Indiana become a hydrogen hub? Well, there are those who believe it is the next big thing in clean energy. Cummins is a great example of an Indiana company pushing for a portion of the $7 billion the U.S. Department of Energy is making available to create a hydrogen hub potentially in northwest Indiana. Joined again now by Governor uh, Holcomb, hydrogen. People don't talk a lot or you hear a lot about it, but I know a lot of potential there. What's the potential for a hydrogen hub? Because it potentially could be located in the Midwest and there's a real chance Indiana could be the spot. It could be the sweet spot, so to speak, in, in the nation. And uh, we have come together, a, a number of governors have come together in the Midwest and on you know, a bipartisan effort. Um, it's uh, Illinois, Indiana, Michigan, Ohio, states that we touch that all have access to Lake Michigan and, and the Great Lakes representing about 22%, 23% of the world's freshwater supply puts us in a really strong position to capitalize off this. It will require governments, local, state, federal government partnership. It will require academia leaning into this, but having a hub uh, located close to uh, BP, mm -hmm. uh, the, the, you know, America's largest inland uh, oil refinery and Cleveland Cliffs, one of the bigger steel producers uh, in our nation, critically important to the auto industry. This is uh, not just important to Cummins, and it is. They've been leading on this front for a long time. So now uh, what they've been preaching, the world is starting to really take note of, not just in terms of the truck fleet, uh, but in terms of a energy source and supply that adds to our portfolio. I think some people look at clean energy and a focus on that as maybe a, maybe a nice thing to do, but it sounds as though there's a real bottom line impact potentially that could be big, a big payoff for the state of Indiana. Yeah, we don't want to be flyover country in any, in any example. And uh, we know that there are companies that are looking for these sources of energy that want to not just contribute to the exploration and the innovation of it, but also to be a customer from it. Mm -hmm. And so we want to be able to, per, you know, promote and and um, and offer uh, whether it's nuclear, solar, wind, coal, oil, gas, and all the above approach. Um, and that's the way we get to uh, high quality of place. Indiana Governor Eric Holcomb, thank you for taking the time to uh, host us here in your office at the State House, and we look forward to following up uh, when you get back from uh, from Egypt. As do I. All right. Well, the state is answering the bell in other areas of clean energy as well. If you look at the state investing $100 million in federal funding to begin installing more than 100 EV fast charging stations at interstate uh, exits and major highways in Indiana, they'll be able to juice most EV batteries up to 80% in less than 20 minutes. Purdue engineers are working to better the 20 minute charging time. They've invented a cable that could fully recharge electric vehicles in just five minutes. And students in six Indiana school districts will soon be riding to and from classes in electric buses, all part of a $1 billion federal project that goes nationwide.